want to show you how you can take data from Excel and use it with data from Dynamics GP and put it together to make nice looking reports. So what I decided to do is I'm going to make a report that shows actual sales by product and also a sales forecast by product. Now you probably know that Dynamics GP does not have the ability to store sales forecasts without the manufacturing process. So what I did is I created an Excel spreadsheet. Let's take a look at that. This is the Excel spreadsheet that holds my sales forecast data. You can see I've got data here by item number, by year, and by period, and then I've got the actual quantities and I've got the sales budget. So I use that and I'm going to compare that with the view in Dynamics GP that shows monthly sales summary by item. So let's take a look at the queries. I can hit, hit edit queries here in Power BI desktop. So I use the SQL view. This is a regular part of the Dynamics GP system. You can see here I've got summary data from GP that shows item numbers and the periods, the year, and the actual cost, and I even have the sales prices over here. So this is directly from a SQL view in GP. I'm connecting to it with Power BI. Here's the sales forecast. This is what it looks like in Power BI. This is looking directly at my Excel spreadsheet. If I update my Excel spreadsheet, it will update this query as well. So let's take a look and see what I did with this data. So there's one thing I had to do is I had to create a relationship between my data in GP and the Excel spreadsheet. And to do that, I went into Manage Relationships. We can look at this one here. The data in the Dynamics GP system does not have a unique identifier per row that I can connect to my Excel spreadsheet. So I had to create one. And to do that, what I did is I created this item link. And this item link is a concatenation of the item number, the location, the year and the period. So I did the same thing in my Excel spreadsheet. And what I can do is I can do that right within Power BI. So I created that unique link so that every row has a unique identifier. I can connect that to my Excel spreadsheet and pull in my budget summary dollars. To do that, I just use the concatenation function within Power BI to do that. And you can see some of the results of that here. This is the sales location with the year and then the period and this is a concatenation with that plus the item link here so again i create a unique identifier in each row of my data i did that just within power bi did not have to touch the data in gp you can see over here on the right hand side these are the different fields that are pulling in from that sql view i've got that here these here these are the concatenations that i did i created this column in power bi I did the same thing in my Excel spreadsheet. Here's an Excel spreadsheet. You can see I've got these um, item link, for example. This is the column that I added based on data within the Excel spreadsheet. Then all I did is I pulled this data into Power BI here. It's really easy to do. I just pulled in the item description, and then I pulled in the summary sales from the GP view, and I pulled in the summary sales from my Excel spreadsheet. You get the results here. This is nice because it creates connections to data within Power BI. So for example, I've got this simple graph. It really only has the three elements that I mentioned, the item description, the actual sales, and the budget sales. I can easily add a slicer to this. I'll just click on this icon over here. This is a slicer. Um, and what I want to do, maybe add the years to this. So I can just pull the years over there. And then I can select the year, and the table automatically responds to that. Pick 2016, and click out of that area, and go back to normal. If I want to, I can also add a slicer for the um, period. Let's do that. We'll add another slicer and I'll pull the period over here. So now I've got the periods. If I just want to see what I sold in April, I can click on April here. I can see that. I can also select the year if I want to. It automatically responds to that. I can change periods here. I can use multiple ones by hitting the control key. And I can come out of that by clicking on the open white space here. So this makes it easy to use the data and manipulate it to get what you want to. And then I can add additional pages down here at the bottom and still use the same data set. If I want to, I can publish this up to Power BI. This makes it easy to put dashboards together and then share that with other people within your organization. So if you haven't taken a look at Power BI, it's really easy to use. Microsoft has made some major changes that make it easier to use and much more functional. So take a look at it. You can download the Power BI desktop that we've been looking at this morning and you can use it yourself. 
if you want to take this data and you want to publish it up to Power BI and make it available to other people, the fee is really quite low. Uh, it makes it an easy way to share data. It's easy to put this together. You can easily manipulate it. And it's a good way to put dashboards together with Dynamics GP data. And like I did here, you can use other data and pull that into the same area. So take a look at it. I think you'll really like it. Thank you.